what time is it? You know what time it is. It's time to hit that subscribe button. You know, just where's that? Right down there. Right down there. And it's time to follow my Instagram. That's Geekly Amanda. G E E K L Y Amanda. It's the same on Twitter. Make sure to follow me there too. And it's time to get this review started. Y'all probably thinking, look at Amanda. She started doing the Mahabharat reviews and she did episode one, like season one, episode one, and season two, episode two. Then I started grouping them like five episodes at once. And now look, I'm doing a whole season review <laughs> right now. That's what I'm doing. That's how much I'm into these and getting through it. But I'm on season three and it's some good stuff happening. It's some good stuff, so I want to talk about it. First, I like because we get to see a little more of Karna, right? And Bhishma gets to see more of Karma. He sees Karma's little, you know, his skills with the archery and all. And I guess it's like a rule if you're in that town, you can't be like whoever you're, if you're like a charioteer, you can't go ahead, right? You can't like train to be an archer, even if that's like your talent. So Bhishma even, he's like, well, that can't go to waste. That kind of talent. That kind of talent was given by the gods, he said. So he sent him off to get this special training. So Karna, I was like, oh, there, right? So he's going to send him off for this special training. And I was like, good thing. Look at Bishma. I always like his decisions. And this one's a fun uh, season because I'm loving to see the pa the Pandavas and, and, well, I don't like the, the, the Curries. Is that how you call them? The Curries, the, the Hundred Brothers? But I just like, because now it's getting to a lot of the story that I do know. Well, I don't know the younger stuff, but like, at least the characters are really there. Those curries, I don't like them. The Hundred Brothers, they all seem to got a bad attitude. Now we know that that oldest one, what's his name, with the bad omen, we know he's a bad apple anyway. And he's getting his little, in the ear, that uncle with the, uh, you know, Sh Shakuni or whatever, with the crazy eye, he's up in his ear giving him bad advice, number one. So he, he's doing number one, but then he's being an example for all, that just shows his example of all the younger brothers because they're just as mean. They went up in that town and they was harassing people, knocking over stuff. And they remember they went up to that fisherman, the fisherman booth and they started messing with them. And then that one was like, don't do that. And they were, they were like, oh, you hit me. Remember, I, I was so mad. I wanted to spank them. <laughs> I wanted to put those boys on my over my knee they need to deserve a little spanking or something and of course that little crazy uncle gonna go take care of him oh i saw him hit him married accused oh they hit him and they was gonna want to execute those guys i was like oh no no don't let that happen oh the, the queen mother because she has a little soft spot for those fishermen because that was where she got her father was a fisherman and then they want to use that against her but I'm glad they didn't put those guys to death. And But they still kind of exiled them, which I was sad for. Because I was like, they didn't deserve that. They didn't. De and she knew that too. That's why she come in. She's like, oh no, we're, we're about done with this. And she's like, I'm going to find Pandu. Remember? And she's like, I'm going to find Pandu. Then you see Pandu just up in, in the forest with his wives and his five boys. And, and they those boys, like Pandu's a good, those boys got some good values is all I'm saying. They got, maybe because they weren't spoiled with that palace life, because those other ones, they, they would have all the food given to them, just everything, given to them. To, and, and the little Pandavas, they were like having to share the, the Ladoos, and, and Beam was trying to eat them all. I love Beam! Here goes the Queen Mother, going to go up in the forest and be like, come back, Pandu. Well, of course, what it, Pan, Pandu makes me mad. He knows he got this curse. Pandu knows he got this curse. How are you going to forget about it? I know your wife is pretty. She's gorgeous. Like you look, But I would not be forgetting about no cursing. You're going to have the relations. Dead. I was like, Pandu, why you do this, Pandu? And then that Madrid, oh, that surprised me. She was so upset. She just up in a, mo a mower, what is it called? Mowed herself with, and her spirit kid just. So now there's poor Conti. By yourself, having to take on, take care of all these boys. Well, then they wanted to come back to the kingdom. So of course she's gonna be like, oh, yeah, because she's uh, all by herself up in the forest, having to take care of these boys. And, and Karna, when she goes up in there, they see each other. I wanted more to happen. Like you felt like that, that little like, oh, are they gonna recognize? Like, is she gonna recognize that as her son or what? 
I was like holding my breath. I was, well, I guess that'll become more later on in the story because that was just like a little glimpse. But I was, I was like, oh, oh, recognize that as your sight. That, there's car. I was getting excited. And I feel ba so bad for the pandemic. They just want to be friends with the, they want to be brothers with them and, and all. And those curry, they're so mean to those five boys. They're so mean. And I, I understand. You got to be, what is like the saying they say, Michelle Obama said it, when they go low, do bad things, you go high. You be the better person. I'm not always about being the better person. <laughs> I'm not. I'm like, if you, what is an eye for eye? You punch me, you better, you better be waiting for a punch back. That's how I am sometimes, which I'm not saying that's the way you should be. They're doing the right thing. That old brother, when those boys are mean, he's always like, no, be the better person, right? They're always like that. And I'm like, that's the right thing to do, but that's not what I would do. <laughs> but I do feel bad. They're so mean to those boys and they outnumber them. There are a hundred of them to poor five little boys. I mean, Bishma seen that. He even, when they went to that dinner and he's like, eat with no elbows. And they're trying to throw the food and do all this. And then they figure out, we got to work as a team, right? I, I can feed you and you feed me, but still those boys weren't feeding the, the, the pandavas. I was like, sit. I was like, y'all should just feed each other then. Go feed your other brother, the five brothers. Those mean curries ain't feeding you. Oh, they get me mad. They do. I think they're going to start getting along because remember they were outside playing with the ball and the ball went that well and they was putting on a show. I'll go get it. No, I'll get it. No, I'll get it. I was like, none of y'all are going to get that ball. Y'all putting on a show. But then that one guy came who's, what is he like, the sage and he wants to like train him. He got those blades of grass. Remember he was like, Psh, 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 she threw them and it's stuck in that ball perfect and they could just pull it out. I was like, who's this guy? I think his name's Drona, Drona? Cause he, they want the sage and the, and the train the boys in. But he was like, well, if I train those curries, I'm gonna train the pandavas too, right? So I have this little video here. This is um, his entry, Drona, Drona something. <laughs> Y'all ready to watch this with me? Let's go. So he got the sage powers, but he must be also the wolf, like he wants to, they want him to train. Look at him, that's where he just, he just got blades of grass. Look at him. Skills. That right there, skills. Does it mean something special when they got the lines across? Is that like the mark of the sage or something? Cause that's, look, that, there it is. And look, Beam was like, oh. But they were like, how do you do that? And then he, are they gonna show what he did? And again, they went right on top of it. They all amazed though, look. <laughs> and he put it, he's like, I got skills. He's right there. He's like, oh yeah, I got skills. So I guess he's going to train. I guess he's going to train. Well, he wasn't at first because they were like, oh no. Remember that the blind king? He was like, oh no, my kids ain't going far away. And he's like, well, we got to remove them. They can't be sitting right outside the home and, and expected to learn. And then he was like, no way. But then what happened? They done kill Beam. <laughs> what? They done kill Beam? I was like, no. I was like, oh, why do y'all want to kill poor little Beam? Well, he ain't little. But you know, poor Beam, innocent, poor, innocent, good-hearted Beam. That's how I said. And then, of course, that crazy eye uncle is behind it. Going to give him that poison and, and they're going to poison him and then throw him in the water. And then they had those underwater things were like, oh, no, Beam, you got part of us in you. And they were biting him to get the poison out. <laughs> they're... And then he came back. Well, he didn't just come back. He came back with a surprise because he came back with true beam style, I would say. He came back with true beam, true beam style. He was up there covered and they were feeding and he was eating those ladoos. And he's like, more, more, more. I was like, that's, that's beam right there. You know, all those ladoos getting eaten. That's beam. I know it. And of course it was. It was beam. And even then, did he? He didn't even tell that who killed him, did he? He didn't even tell on them. They knew though. 
Remember, they knew they were like, they, they knew, they, remember Bishma was like, oh, you need, told the blind king, you need to give him justice. And he's like, what justice is it? Like that blind king, he's not raising those boys right. They need a spanking. <laughs> That's what it needs to be, spanking. And I guess they agreed, right? After all that happened and, and those boys so bad, they tried to kill or kill Beam and he came back that they were like, all right, that blind king, you know, we got to send them away to, for their training. But in the meantime, Bishma wasn't playing around. He's like, I'm going to get to this, this, the heart of this. It ain't even the boys getting training and all. We're going to get rid of this little crazy-eyed uncle. And that's how it ended to send them off. But I was like, yes, yes, get rid of that crazy-eyed uncle. I don't like him. He's around too much up in their ears. He needs to be gone. I'm glad he did. Well, I told you I got through season three. I got through season three. Loved it. And now that I have, like, know a lot of these characters already, I must say, I'm going to do another video today. And I'm going to rank my favorite five so far. Now, this is only the ones I've seen through season three so far. So, so far, we're going to rank it in the next video. But in the meantime, let me know what you think. Comments, thumbs, all that. Until next time. Mwah!